Guys, wanted to jump on the low snap here, and the more I think about it, the more I think that this is a huge opportunity for head interim head coach Ryan Day, who will be coaching the team the first three games while Urban Meyer serves his suspension. Now, Ryan Day was co-offensive coordinator for 2017, but before this whole investigation thing happened, he actually had the co title removed and he was the offensive coordinator. This is likely because they wanted to give him more responsibility as he had opportunities to go elsewhere. Um, for example, Mike Vrabel re was recruiting him to become the offensive coordinator with the Tennessee Titans in the NFL and he also had an opportunity to be the head coach at Michigan State after Dan Mullins, a former Offensive coordinator under Urban Meyer became the head coach at Florida. I think this is a huge opportunity for Ryan Day. No matter with what happens to Urban Meyer, it definitely sets Day up to be a head coach of his own team one day. And I, and I can assure you that that day will happen just this next offseason. This might not come as a huge surprise, garnering the attention he got this past off season, but it's definitely something and if he has if he can add three games on his resume as a head coach of someone like Ohio State that's huge for him granted the games aren't all that tough they'll place they'll face Oregon State Rutgers but then they do face number 16th ranked TCU that third and final game and I know people will say Oh, well, Urban Meyer's guiding practice. Yes, but on in game day, that's a whole different story. And I don't know what the involvement of Urban Meyer will be like, but I'm certain that all half-time adjustments, in-game adjustments, and everything like that, I'm certain he won't be on hand for that. So that'll be all on day. Now, the Rutgers and Oregon State games, those are kind of easier... Hopefully, Day takes care of those quite easily. But TCU and that high-ranking offense is nothing to sneeze at. I think Day will come out, and if he does finish this 3-0, and puts him in serious consideration for even some Power 5 head coaching jobs. I don't know off the top of my head who could be fired, as it is still very early. But certainly... If he can get a job somewhere else, that program will be boosted, and Ohio State could be at a loss, because Day is a great offensive coordinator. Ohio State performed very well last season, mainly in the Michigan game, where um, four-year starter JT Barrett went down with a knee injury, and backup quarterback Dwayne Haskins had to come in. I'd love to see what Day can do, even for the rest of the season, returning to his offensive coordinator role once Urban Meyer comes back. I'd love to see how this offense can do. He can be a very hot head coaching candidate this offseason. Possibly if LSU is willing to part ways with Ed Organo, they could be heading there, but LSU does have a big buyout for him, so that could complicate things, but who knows? I've seen stranger things happen. Here's to Ryan Day and his huge opportunity. It is a great opportunity for him, and I hope he takes full advantage of it. Here's to Ryan Day. I know I'll be watching. Hopefully you guys will too. Give me your opinion, and if you know of a college whose head coach is struggling, let me know where you think Ryan Day will end up. We can discuss that in the comments. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching.